And good evening, welcome to the Boulevard, home of all the sea. It's tonight's fourth game in the Auckland Mini Tour. Both teams out on the field, and give it the whole team first. One Pierce, two Clarkson, three Hick, four O'Hara, five Mabake, six Luluai, seven Ellis, eight Tomlinson, nine Patrick, ten Wellham, eleven Elgar, twelve Proctor, and thirteen Sharp. Substitutes tonight for Hull FC, 14 Windley and 15 Brooks. Auckland, number one Patton, two Man, three Iro, four Panapa, five Oro, six Cooper, seven Freeman, eight Brown, nine Hooker, ten Kayser, eleven Rupate, twelve Tumavave, 13 and captain Ron O'Regan. Substitutes tonight for Auckland, number 14 Krieger, number 15 Goulding. Referee for tonight's game, in red is Mr. John MacDonald of Wigan. And it'll be Pierce to get the game underway. It goes high to the left. Brown takes it well, decides to run it back in. The whole front row up there quickly. To Mavare goes to acting half back. It's a bad pass taken well though by Freeman. Referee detects a knock on. Danger in the opening minutes for Auckland. The scrum goes down just 10 yards in front of the Auckland post. And Ellis to feed. Good heel from the back. Puts it on to Lulawai. Running out to the left. Shrugs off the full back. But a good crunching tattle comes in from Panapa. Hull on the attack. In the Auckland 25. Elgar tries his luck. Tattle short. Old bring along the line. Tomlinson goes for the drive. Held just 10 yards from the line. Although this time Proctor takes up the running. Taken around the bootlaces though by Cooper. Luluai centre field. The Auckland cover. Blew in. Goes out quickly. Luluai slipped the challenge. Six tattles coming up. Ball goes back to Pierce. He's looking around for the drop goal attempt. Sides to put the ball high. And Chase Mubaki chasing the ball's not back. Referee allows play on. Six more tackles to Hull FC. And it's Patrick who tries his luck. Tattle just two yards short from the Auckland line. And the ball back inside, taken well by Elgar. And he's tattled just about two yards short. All the pressure coming from Hull FC. Pierce. Decides to show his luck, shows the dummy. <laughs> Taken by Hooker. For Auckland, a long pass out. O'Hara can't hold, and it's Cooper will come up with it for Auckland. Relieves some of the pressure. As O'Hara pushes through. And it's Kaizu who brings it away. Six more titles, said referee McDonald. O'Regan. Short ball out onto Tumavare. He meets the solid challenge. Now Auckland bring it right out. Short ball from Brown. Looked like an obstruction, and it is. Taser coming through for the short ball. Penalised for obstruction. About 35 yards out, straight in front of the post. And Pierce selects to kick for goal. Get the first points on the board this evening and just three minutes of the game gone Pierce signed from the ranks of the Welsh Rugby Union Start his days here at the Boulevard. That scrum half has been moved back onto fullback, replacing out of favour Paul Fletcher. Up he comes, the kick's high. Man, it skirts the side of the left hand upright, so the score remains. Hull nil, Auckland nil. And the five minutes of the game gone. To Mavawe restarts with a kick from the 25. O'Hara can't take it. 
Kays is in there and Auckland get possession. Now Auckland bringing out to line. Cooper, short ball. Oro can't hold it. Bounces back off a hold player. Ball it with Freeman. Puts the kick deep. Pierce is chasing across, but the kick rolls into touch about 15 yards from the whole line. The first scrum of the game. Bielis to feed for Hull FC. And two front rows having difficulty packing down. Now Ellis feeds. So to the back Freeman comes round quickly to snuff out any move that was Hick tried to come away from acting half back gives forwards a chance to regroup Elgar just loses his footing as the tackle comes in from Brown and ball goes back to Pierce for the kick deep Mann's chasing back takes it on the full and tries to shrug off Clarkson, but Clarkson does just enough <laughs> to impede him as the cover came across with Wellham. Short ball. Montero Pate. He's flung to the ground by Patrick. A Cooper back inside to Tumavare coming strong. His brain goes to acting half back. Oh, Reagan slips one challenge, just loses his footing. He's looking round to unload the ball. And to Freeman, misses out Cooper, puts the ball. Hong ball out to Panapa. The good tackling from the Hull FC defence. The six tattles coming up. Ball goes to Brown, puts up the big one. Ellis is underneath, but it's Pierce. You could hear the call from over here. He took it well. Ball it to Lulawai, slips one challenge, puts it inside to Mabaki. Makes Alderman full and player. Now with Tomlinson, makes a good 10 yards, but he's brought to ground by Tumavare. Now Lulawai again, centre field, inside to Elgar, decides against the pass. And taking around the boot laces by Freeman. This time Sharp tries his luck. And tackle just a few yards short of the halfway line. So this goes to acting half by whole line up for the kick. So he goes back to Pierce. Pierce gets the kick away despite the attentions of Cooper. Patton can't hold it. Gets a second chance. Referee says the ball went back. Come on, like, choose your age. Get on the no man tries to take it himself from acting half back, driving towards the 25. Taken to ground by the whole FC front row. And Cooper acting half back. And to Mavare. Tries to dance. Pirouette out of a tattle. And Sharp comes in over the top. Brown. Onto a Reagan. For the whole FC cover. There. Driving. Hawkland back. And he'll come up with the ball. And Simon Selgar. Sharp, ball back inside to Tomlinson, he's looking round to unload, gets a good ball back to Sharp, sucks off one challenge. And take to ground by Tumavare. Ellis at acting half back. Puts the ball back to Patrick in a drop goal position. The Auckland cover up. Thick blue line up quickly. Blue line throws a long ball out, out to Hick. And Mabaki tries his luck, chips over the defence. The ball just rolls out dead. Good thinking from Mabaki. You just heard the substitution, number 14, Phil Windley takes the field and replace number four, Dane O'Hara. As O'Regan tries to burst through, unloads well, back to Cooper, dances one tattle. And Cooper in space, running across field, puts it inside to Brown. Long ball out from Brown, taken well by Iroh. Out to 
to Horo. Going down the far side, is he going to go in in the corner? And he does, goes in a yard from the corner flag. Far side of the field. And 10 minutes of the game gone. And Horro puts the first points on the board for Auckland. Brown with the conversion attempt. He's about 30 yards out. Far side of the field. Brown comes up, right footed, the kick's high. Mm, just hits the right hand up right. So with 11 minutes of the game gone, the score, Hull FC nil, Auckland four. Gary Pierce to restart. It goes high out to the left. Taken by Tumavare. He decides to run up straight. And straight into Sharp. Oh, Auckland played out to line. Brown missed out. No ball onto Cooper. To Panapa. Throws a long ball out onto Man. The referee brings them back for a forward pass. But again, Auckland showing that they're not going to get involved in a forward confrontation tonight. Swinging the ball out wide to both wings. Winley goes to scrum half. Puts the ball in. As the both packs collapse. It's like Ellis has moved out into the standoff position. Lowing Luluai to go into the centre for Hull FC. This time Auckland get the free kick. Hull FC penalised for collapsing the scrum. And chance for Brown to put the big kick into touch. Makes about 20 yards with a kick. As Hooker restarts, puts a short ball onto Kaiser, battering his way through. Met by Wellham. And the ball into Reagan, he can't take it, he falls straight into Sharp's hands and he's taken by Reagan. Bounce to the ground. The short ball from Tomlinson, he looked like he got the ball out, it's loose. And referee calls the knock on. Winley again to feed the scrum inside the Hull FC half of the field. Now it's on to Ellis coming round the short side, sees the gap. Met in a crunching challenge though by Patton and O'Regan. And Hull FC back inside the Auckland half of the field as Proctor drives his way through. Patrick in a hurry to get the restart. Now Hull FC played out to the left. Good ball out from Elgar. Hull keep it moving this time with Sharp. And the short ball out onto Wellham. Elgar's tattled there on suspicion, but referee allows play on. Winley back inside to Ellis, going straight down the middle. Tattled on the Auckland 25 on the fifth tattle. Out right to Winley. Size to hold it, just held it a minute too long. Hull have still, still keep the ball alive and finally it's Pierce who puts the kick to touch. Got out to a tricky situation there did Gary Pierce. <laughs> and 
Be Freeman to feed the, the scrum this time for Auckland. Ball just goes in. Freeman goes around the blind side. On an offside there as the play of the ball came along from Tumavare. And Thomason caught offside. So again, Brown drives the kick deep. Now Kaiser takes up the running from the restart. Driving on. It's the hole from Rowe. He's being held low and pushed to the ground. Five yards inside LFC territory. All right with Brown. Puts his shoulder down, drives in. Held by Sharp. This time is real party, tries to go himself from acting half back. O'Regan works the run around with Freeman, looking for runners, puts a short ball inside to Timavare. Good move by Auckland. Timavare plays it to himself, the crowd play for a knock on, but referee not having any. So the pass comes back off a whole FC player. Six more tackles to Auckland. Brown throws it out to Kaiser. Auckland going down the narrow side, Horo shrugs off one challenge on touch, see back inside. But he must have put a foot in touch as he put the pass out. The whole FC cover came up very quickly. So again, Winley feeds the scrum, but it's a heel against the head. Freeman picks up from the back of the scrum, but Winley gives him no ground. Around the scum like a ground out of a trap. Now Brown, see it on to Kaiser, slips one challenge. He's being held, but manages to get it pass away to Cooper. Now on to Iro. Iro's going without the ball. It's picked up by Luluai. On to Pierce. Pierce shrugs out one challenge, but finally taken to ground by Cooper. Man, on the whole FC 25. Patrick tries his luck. Now on to Tomlinson. It's a big prop in the Lee Crooks mould. And from a distance, does look like Lee Crooks. And the ball out to Wellham. He's tackled centre field. The ball goes back to Pierce. Puts the kick deep. And straight into the hands of Patton. He takes it on the full. Loses his footing but gets the pass away to Man. Man held just 10 yards inside his own half of the field. It's Freeman acting half back. And puts it on to Patton. He puts his shoulder down. But challenge around the boot laces from Romel Garn. There's an interception from Tomlinson. He can't hold it. The ball's still loose. And finally, it's Kaiser who saves the situation for Auckland. And Cole FC have noticed if they start lining up in the Auckland line, some of these long passes are there for the taking. No IRL slips one challenge. And bundled to the ground though by number 12 Proctor. The far side of the field. Nice try to score. Horro tries his luck, tries to go over the top of the challenge. Iro at acting half back. Auckland playing centre field. Brown stands in the tackle looking to unload. Tries to play the ball to himself. Looks around for the kick, but he finally makes the run. He's got Freeman in support. Now it's Freeman that takes it up, he's going down the far touch line, he'll have to come inside, he's got no support. He's taking to ground just short of the whole FC 25. The sixth tattle coming up. Now oh, Tumavare tries his luck and he tattle on the sixth tattle, so we have the first changeover of the game. I'm just coming up to midway through the first half, the score, all FC nil, Auckland four. Winley puts it on to well, Elgar. He tries his low, but he's flung to the ground by his opposite number, Rapate. Ball to Proctor. He try, tries his low, tackled the short, short of the halfway. Patrick at acting half by looking for runners. 
Now it's Ellis, he tries to come inside, sees the gap. Tattle by his opposite number, Freeman. The three breaks that Hull FC have made tonight, Ellis is behind them. As Winley puts the kick deep, Patton covers though for Auckland, now has to come back inside. The Hull FC cover up quickly. Stops Patton in his tracks. Cooper puts the ball back finally it's Freeman who takes the hospital pass on his own 25 short ball to Shane Cooper back inside to Kaiser he tries raw brute force to break down the middle wall goes to Brown tries to chip over as the chase but Winley's there takes it well under pressure and immediately he's taken to ground by Ronald Reagan, the Auckland captain. And the ball out to Tomlinson. He drives straight in, but has taken man and ball by his opposite number, Dave Brown. <coughs> and short ball inside to Elga, but he's held up by Tumavare. About 15 yards inside the Auckland half of the field as Winley takes it up from 18 half back, puts the kick deep. Man's there to cover, he's got Patton in support, but Man decides to take it himself. Runs straight. The challenge comes in from Luluai. And Hick. Cooper on to Freeman. Back to Patton. He's taken. And pushed back in the challenge by Tomlinson. Ball into Dave Peter Brown. Looking for the gap. Auckland trapped at the moment in their own 25. Now they bring it along the line. And ball out to Panapa. Oxen does just enough. And Cooper, short pass inside to O'Regan, burst the challenge. He's got Kaiser in support. There's a pass out onto Freeman, back inside to Cooper. Cooper. Cooper goes round Pierce, I thought Pierce had had him. And Cooper goes in. It's about five yards to the left hand side of the post. And I was just saying that Auckland seemed to be trapped in their own quarter. And the burst came from Ronald Regan. He burst his way through. Look a little surprised as he give, broke the tattle. And then they just played along through the half backs, enabling Cooper to go in, despite the despairing challenge. From Gary Pierce. <laughs> Auckland eight, the conversion attempt from Brown to come. Just 23 minutes of the game gone. This time Brown makes no mistake. And takes the score to Will FC nil. Auckland 10. <laughs> Again, it'll be Pierce to restart. This time puts the kick along the ground. And Brown tries to stop it with his foot. The whole FC covers up quickly. And Freeman, pass inside to Tumavare, slips the challenge, puts it back to Freeman. Slips one challenge, he's got Cooper in support. But a good move by Auckland. Again, breaking the challenge. And support this time, Iro slips under one challenge, puts the ball back inside to Panapa. Auckland still keep the move alive. It's Kaiser trying his luck. And tackle about 20 yards inside the Hull FC half of the field. Brown. Sit on to Reagan. Short ball inside from Reagan to Tumavare. But a brilliant tackle comes in. From substitute Winley. It's a high ball plucked out to the air by Cooper. And Panapa went bit without the ball. The being referee calls the knock on.
Cooper Windley to feed the scrum. And Chiefs on the bike decides to come down the narrow side. To Mavare to the scrum quickly to effect the challenge. Along with Proctor. Makes about five yards before he's taken to ground. A short ball to Tomlinson who's driving straight at him. Windley puts it inside to Sharp. He can't hold it. It's Auckland who come away with it. To Mavare. On to Kaiser. As Freeman tries to go at himself for Martin halfback. Dragged to the ground by Hick. And the Hick a little incensed of the challenge. And silly penalty given away by the three-quarter Hick. Wouldn't let go of Freeman as he tried to get up to play the ball. And curves the wrath of referee John McDonald. But Auckland take the quick tap. Played along the line. There's row parties. Tattle just 15 yards inside the LFC out for the field. Patton comes up joining the line. Come on, Sweden. Well, it's a Freeman, but Freeman bounced to the ground. And a solid challenge by Tomlinson. And again, Hull Morley at the play of the ball. This time, Auckland played down the other side. Short ball out from Cooper. Misairo is tackled just in from the touchline, far side of the field. This time it's Hooker makes the break. It's the ball back to Iro. Auckland have the overlap and Oro goes in for his second try of the night. Referee calls them back for the forward pass. So a let off for Hull FC. Again, Auckland showing the willingness to move up. And very quickly from the play of the ball. This time Winley feeds, gets the return. And it out to Pierce. And Cooper's across quickly to effect the challenge. And Luluai tries to run him, himself from 18 half back. On to Elgar. He's running cross field. Hall FC being pinned back by Auckland at the moment. There's four tattles gone. Ball finally goes back out to Pierce for the kick deep. Ball bounces over Patton, but man's there to gather for Auckland. After running in, he's on his own. Takes the tattle just five yards inside the Hull FC, half of the field. Patton puts it onside out to Kaiser. Big rob forward from Auckland. Now O'Regan, short pass inside to Tumavare. Sit out to Man. Man goes without the ball and it's dropped on by Clarkson. Led off for Hull. Now Tomlinson tries his luck. Head down, ball up the jumper. Patrick had acting half back onto Windley. And to Proc Sharp, short ball to Elgar. Winley again, sit out to Sharp, ball's going loose, it's picked up by Cooper though for Auckland, on to Freeman looking for the gap, stitched up in the tackle by Elgar, ball back to Patton, ball goes loose in the challenge, it will be another scrum down on the whole FC 25. Again, number 14, Windley feeds. Good heed by Patrick. And Hull get the free kick. Auckland, number 13, O'Regan. Out of the scrum very quick. Caught off side. And the blind side of the scrum. Pierce a chance to gain some valuable ground. With a line kick. Finds touch just five yards from the halfway line. As Tomlinson comes in from the restart. Drive straight. 
which makes 10 yards into Auckland territory. Now Algar takes it up into that ball well round his knees. And the Windley again to Ellis, to Luluai. Luluai decides to hold on to that pass as Pierce came through. Now Windley tries to go underneath them. Luluai again. And a short ball inside, it's a sharp. And down the far side, puts the ball back to Mabaki. He's tattled without the ball. The Ball finally rolls into touch, just 10 yards from the Auckland line. And a break coming from the Hull FC loose forward, Sharp. Got his pass back inside to Mabaki. Mabaki couldn't hold, it, hold the pass, albeit he was being tackled before he received the ball. And referee McDonald allowed them to play on. So it could be Winley with a feed. This time it's a heel against the head, out to Auckland. Cooper runs around in circles, goes nowhere. As well on comes over the top for Hull. Now to Patton, the fullback, he tries his luck. Now Auckland playing it down the narrow side, out to the right. Reagan throws a reverse pass out to Kayser. But Mabaki's in quickly for Hull. Lady by Wello and Kayser's. Thrown back in the challenge. Now Brown takes up the running. Fourth tattle gone. Auckland made no ground. Now Chimavare slips one challenge. Looking to get the pass away. And Proctor comes over the top to infect the challenge. The six tattles coming up as Hull move up quickly. There's two Vare comes away from Martin half pipe, puts it on to Freeman. He's looking around for support. He's got Cooper and Hooker with him. This time he puts it out to Horo. Back inside to Cooper. He takes it well, but the <laughs> taken by Hick. Inside the LFC 25. But just again when I was saying that one team was trapped inside their own quarter, away they come. Bring the ball along the line and go virtually the length of the field. Thomason brings the ball away. On the burst, makes about 10 yards. This is taken to ground by O'Regan. Patrick acting half back. Freeman was round there quickly, but Patrick gets a lovely kick away. Rolls into touch about five yards inside the Auckland half of the field. Play 33 minutes of the first half for score. Hull FC nil. Auckland 10, as this time Freeman goes to feed the scrum. And this time Hull get a free kick. Freeman accused of feeding his own forwards. Brown, the hook forwards complaining. And he gets 10 yards for descent. No chance for Pierce to put the kick to touch. And so let's see line it up, see if they can get a try on the board just before half time. Thomason's price for the move, Eddie by Ellis. It's Tomlinson that takes it up. Drives straight at Brown. And Kaiser comes in over the top. We're just five yards from the Auckland line. Short ball inside. On to Proctor. Patrick back inside onto Sharp. Finally, it's well on that comes away, puts the ball back out. On to Winley, I think it is, and Winley goes in, just five yards from the post. Looked like Proctor was about to die with the ball, but somehow he managed to throw a low pass. Winley backing up well, took it off his bootlaces. Oh, went straight in, about three yards to the right-hand side of the pole. Even Pierce with an easier conversion attempt. Nanny makes no mistake. Conversion for number one, Gary Pierce. 
So with five minutes left to the end of this first half, the score now a little more respectable. All FC six, Auckland ten. As your party comes up for the restart. Puts the kick out deep. And to the left, Pierce takes it well. Mabaki comes inside, but Pierce decides to run it through. Saffle just over the 25 by Tumavare. Ball back to Elgar. He makes no ground as Brown comes over the top in the challenge. Tomlinson tries his luck, drives five yards. And decides to play the ball to himself, makes another 10 yards with a run. Good run by the young Hull FC prop. Now Windley, this is Otelga, puts it inside to Proctor. He can't move as the Blues join the whole FC line. The sixth tackle coming up as Pierce puts the ball high and deep. Patton's underneath it, takes it well under no pressure. Has decides to run it centre field, but Winley comes out to effect a good challenge. And a man tried himself for matching half back. Takes play over over the 25 and still manages to get his ball back out to Freeman. Freeman bounced to the ground by Hick. Mahoka trying to go for a little jump from acting half back. And Freeman to Cooper. And sit out to Tumavare. Now O'Regan slips the challenge, he's looking around for support, he's got Freeman with him. Freeman takes up the run, he now he's on his own. Go first, goes left, first goes right, take a run by the half-back number seven, Gary Freeman, and he goes in for the try for Hull, for Auckland. And what a way to hit back. After your own side can see the try. Freeman goes in about ten yards. To the left of the upright. He takes the score on to all FC 6, Auckland 14. The conversion attempt to come from Brown. As we're almost at the end of this first half. And again, the break initiated by the captain, Ron O'Regan. Broke the whole FC cover and put it back to Freeman Freeman was on his own he only had Brown up with him in support he went left and right finally went jink round that Pierce to go in and Brown lines up the kick and he makes no mistake Takes the score now to Hull FC, 6, Auckland, 16. Make it about two minutes left of normal time in this first half. <laughs> Pierce restarts. Ball comes off Kaiser's legs, referee allows play on. Kaiser drives it back in, Mabaki's there, reeking the ball and he's got it. Now Tomlinson goes driving in, takes play over the Auckland 25. Patrick comes to act in half back. Winley, first receiver, works the run around with Sharp. Back inside to Elga, looking for the gap. Windley again to Sharp to Luluai. Hull up. Pierce comes through on the short ball. Hull up the numbers out on this side for well, that move. Luluai onto Windley. There's a short pass inside to Sharp who goes without it. Auckland come away with the ball. And Freeman finds no room. Oh, no gap in the Hull FC defence. 
as Tomlinson comes in over the top. This time it's Tumavare. Drives play up to the 25. Fourth tattle. O'Regan, shot ball to Kaiser, he takes a good hit. From Hick and Wellham. Now Brown tries his luck. Tries to use brute force to batter through the black and white line. The sixth challenge comes up. Hooker. On to Freeman. Decides to put the kick in. And Clarkson takes it. Tries to come back inside, but he's bundled to ground just five yards short of halfway. And Patrick had acting half back to Winley. Oh, Gary Pierce joining the line, looking for the gap. The two second rows for Auckland effect the challenge. Ellis puts it on to Windley. On to Proctor. Now Luluai tries to run it through as he's challenged on halfway, and there goes the Hooter for half time. The half time score here from the Boulevard. Hull FC 6. Auckland 16.